Slavic here, you are too for a nice meal. Today we are here at Fish Lake, really good friend of my brother Vitaly, he invited me to do some ice fishing with him. He's gonna let me use his tent, his fishing pool, his gear, and we're gonna go after yellow perch, trout, and maybe we're gonna catch some kokanee. Let's go catch some fish, let's have some fun. It's beautiful here, it's about 8 inches of snow. It's really hard to walk, but look at the scene, the mountains, the view, it's, it's gorgeous. So this is the area that we're going to be fishing. I'm going to clear out some snow, we're going to drill a hole. It's about 35 feet here. Let's drill a hole. This is my setup for ice uh, fishing, uh, fishing rod with one eighth a painted hook. Uh, we're gonna be fishing on eyeball. My friend, he already caught a perch, so we took out the eyeball and we're gonna try to catch it on an eyeball. Okay. Let's try it. It's a braided line, six pounds. That's it. Fish on. <laughs> right on. Let's see what I got. Oh, nice perch. You got one too? <laughs> right. This is awesome. Size? Yep. That's a good size of a perch, about eight inches. Mm -hmm. Got it. Fish on. <laughs> That's so much fun. Oh, look at this. This is good size. This is good size of a perch. Wow. Oh, Philip, good job, finally. <laughs> finally, Philip. Press on the, on the cheek and kind of push out the eye. Oops, let's see. He doesn't like that. And Make sure that eye is not up. And put this eye. I just put the hole in the back through the center. And it and it's on. Like that. I'll take a few minutes of the cables. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, she came, just came off the hook. It's a beautiful. Look at this beautiful perch. About six, seven inches. Wind picked up and it's getting cold, so we're gonna set our uh, tent and uh, fish inside of the tent. So far, we did pretty good. We got about 15 perches. So we're gonna set up a tent. Eskimo tent for two people. My really good friend Vitali, actually his, that's my brother's friend, they work together. Really good fisherman, he always out fishing, so. Today we spend a little bit of time with them. I was going to give you a little tour on inside of the tent. This is my really good friend Vitali. Uh, I want to thank him for the invite. We uh, had a lot of uh, fun today. Uh, and uh, this is Eskimo tent. Uh, oh, he got a fish on. A little tiny one. It's really cozy, a lot of fun, ice fishing. I did it 20 years ago. I want to learn as much as I can. And uh, today we, we learned a lot planning to buy some more gear. I want to thank Vitaly for letting us use all of his gear. This is it, our ice fishing coming to an end. We had a lot of fun today, so see you guys at home. Welcome to our kitchen. So we are back from ice fishing. We had so much fun. It was unbelievable. So we caught some perch. They're a little bit smaller perch, so we're not going to fillet them. We're going to use different methods. So let's go. Let's do this. I'll make a cut an angle to the pelvic fin, just like that. I'll flip it around and do the same thing on this side. that then I'll use the tip of the knife and make a little cut all the way to the wet right there hold the perch with one hand and use the other hand to break off the head just twist it and pull everything out down like that and pretty much everything cleaned up we don't have anything it under the skin make a shallow cut along the dorsal fin all the way back to the end same thing on this side shallow cut all the way to the back of the fin right there and just pull the dorsal fin just pull it back and everything came off, and this is how it looks like.
Then I'll make a cut in the back of this anal fin all the way till it hits the bone. Right there. And I'll grab it with my knife and pull it out. I'm gonna start from the top using my finger to peel the skin off. Since we're not gonna be eating the skin, just might as well peel it. Just stick the fingers under the skin and separate skin from the flesh. Just, just like that. everything off just like that just like that same thing on the other side we're gonna try to utilize every ounce of this fish we're gonna try to take out this wings or fish neck we're gonna separate the skin from the gills and rip this out. And this is really good piece of meat. We're gonna wash it really good and we're gonna deep fry it. After cleaning our perch, we rinse them out really good. Now I'm gonna pat dry it. And you might think, what about the bones? Bones, we're gonna take them out after we're gonna pan fry our fish. Then they'll separate really good from the fillet of the fish and none of the meat goes to waste. We're gonna dunk our fish into flour, then egg wash. Make sure all of the excess drips off, then we're gonna put this into breadcrumbs. All right, this beautiful perch ready to be pan fried on our skillet. We are ready to pan fried our fish. I'll be using iron skillet and I can add some avocado oil. You can use peanut oil, canola oil, or corn oil. And avocado oil also got 500 degree smoke point. And I'm gonna add about one inch of oil into my skillet. How about right there? Our temperature 350 degrees, now we're gonna add fish to our skillet. I'll pan fry it two minutes on each side. All right, let's flip our fish, it's been two minutes. On the other side. 
Oh, look at that collar. It looks beautiful. Okay, our fish is done. Just finished pan frying our perch and it's time to taste it now. My son gonna join me, let's try it. Okay, son, let's see. We're gonna try to peel the fillets up. Peel the fillets up like that. Look at that, wow, that's beautiful. All of that meat right there and the bone. Let's, let's pull the bone out, like I said everything gonna come off all of the bones right there and this is the main part right here you want to taste that what do you think so good it's good yeah. all right try some of that fish Yeah, look at this beautiful fish, golden brown color. Uh, I'm gonna peel fillets off of the bone right there. <sighs> Looks so moist. And same thing, I'm gonna pull the, all of the bones out. So none of the bones are left, uh, everything was pulled out. And look at the meat, it's beautiful. Oh boy. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of that lemon over it, like that. All right. Okay, let's let's try this. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. It's so good. It's delicious. It's so good. It's a must try recipe. This is it, guys. That's all I got for you today. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for a Nice Meal. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys on the next video.